Yeah, I, you know, I, I can remember it visually. Vi uh, you know, it's uh, it was last year, uh, a year from now, and uh, she was in Atlanta, you know, visiting family. And she came home, and she didn't quite feel right. And at the time, I was trying to get some stuff done health-wise in terms of some exams, and, and uh, she needed to go and, you know, get, you know, an exam. And we were riding down the road, and I was trying to actually get a, I was trying to get an appointment myself and found out that she couldn't get her appointment until maybe two months. And I remember asking a young lady, like, is it, can she come in? And next thing I knew, she was going in and getting scans and getting tested. And shortly after, the diagnosis you know, was presented to us. And so um, we've been on that journey ever since. She talked she talk about how supportive you were. Um, mm -hmm. I guess just tell me a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. you know, being a coach is tough to kind of uh, oh. go with her mm -hmm. every appointment, but just kind of talk to me about that. And yeah. You guys kind of I said I won't gonna cry. Um, you know, being a coach sometimes, it's, it's um, and when you, you face that, you know, it doesn't only affect, you know, the person that is physically affected. It affects the loved ones, you know, the husbands, the kids, and you know, even though physically we don't go through it, we see that individual go through it. And I was very, very blessed where I had a had probably one of the best head coaches for that, and that was Coach Ron Rivera, you know, because he had went through cancer, and so he knew the task that was at hand in terms of beating this thing. And so he he allowed me to be at, at as many um, um, exams that I possibly could be. And then I've been very blessed where Coach Callahan, um, Callie, um, I've been knowing him all my life, basically. And um, there's a personal relationship there. So he's allowed me to be, you know, on this, the back end of the journey, the journey in terms of her recovery. So um, I've been very blessed in terms of being fortunate to have people that understand. Cool. And she's, it's a 12th pint on Sunday. What mm -hmm. is <laughs> with her, with her? Well, I, I know one thing. Uh, she she would she would probably tell you the best is we gotta go win. <laughs> so I'm gonna be coaching, um, you know, and I'm gonna be rooting her on, um, getting the fans riled up and get ready to go. Um, some of the guys say you're gonna be wearing shades and 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 in terms of trying to hide the emotion, probably will because I usually don't. But to get through that, I'm I'm so proud of uh, of her journey. And she always says, if, if a story can just touch one individual, then it's worth it. And I hope that people see this um, in terms of the outpouring and, and the importance of, of getting tested and, you know, uh, not only women, and men, but men also, so that uh, you can get in the, in the, uh, right there in the front of the battle before it even starts. So testing is very, very important. You definitely build off of it. You definitely build off of it. Uh, it sucks, you know what I'm saying, what's in the past stays, you know what I'm saying, you can't, you can't go back. So you gotta, only, only thing we, we can do is just look forward and keep on building off of that. The way that drive went, where uh, like along the line, you finished it off, is that kind of, or vice versa, how you foresee that team going? Yeah, um, we're a team, we're going to work together, you know what I'm saying, whatever it takes for us to win at the end of the day, that's what we're going to do. I feel like we're going to, you know what I'm saying, from here on out, we're going to keep on building off each other and keep on supporting each other and, and keep on, you know what I'm saying, running up a scoreboard. See, the NFL, man, you got to take it week by week. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, they got a good defense. They got a good core. You know, they front, they front seven. Two really good linebackers and some DBs that come down and fill a, fill a, um, fill a, fill a gap. So it's just about who show up. You know what I'm saying? And I got full confidence that we're going to show up and do our thing. So you know, we're going to wait till Sunday and see it. You guys got an opportunity not only to get to, you know, your first divisional win, but also to get to two and three and really get right back in the mix. No. See how much you guys, you know, looking to seize this opportunity on Sunday. I feel like we're in a great spot, so it's just all up on us. What what's the next step we're gonna What's the next step we're gonna take? It's gonna be forward. It's gonna be backwards. And I got, you know, I'm willing. You know, I'm putting everything in. It's gonna be forward. So I got full confidence that the next step is gonna be forward. Like I said. We're building it, and, we, and we're gaining each other confidence through all these practices throughout the week, and we're going we're gonna to let it rip and let it show on Sunday. You know, Calvin, uh, we're trying to win. Whatever we can do to win, that's what Calvin and I want to do. So, uh, you know, we're, we're not really too much concerned about targets and 
receptions, uh, Calvin and, and myself, and also Tyler Boyd. I think we're just trying to win. Going up against a, a Colts defense that has allowed some big games, do you see this as a chance for you guys to put up a, a big number after already winning, I guess, in your last game? Yeah, uh, right now, we're just focused on winning. Uh, and if the numbers happen, it happens. Uh, but, you know, I think we're trying to get a win right now, and it's a division game, so that's our focus. What's it feel like as DeAndre coming out of Miami, knowing you got 13 games left, what you've done so far, what's got to be better? Uh, obviously, feels good coming um, coming out to buy with a win, but uh, putting it putting it together again, uh, going up against a, a good coach defense, a good coach team. Uh, it's a division game, so uh, I think everybody has to play their best. But obviously, you know, Miami was Miami. That was last week. Uh, we really can't dwell on that too much, but uh, improve on the things that uh, we need to work on. What did you see from Will this week and, and how much is he pushing the play, you think? Uh, Will is a warrior. He's going to go out and give it his best. Uh, I think everybody knows that about him. How much less of an issue is your knee now than it was maybe at the start of this thing? Uh, I had great rehab. Uh, went to L.A., got some good work. Training, training staff here did a great job of getting me prepared for week one. Uh, so, you know, just just continuing uh, going out and uh, giving it my, my all, man. How much better does it feel coming off a of bye week where there was no wear and tear on it? Um, obviously, going into year, well, excuse me, going into year 12 helps everybody out, not just myself. So, uh, you know, I think the focus is going out beating the coach right now. How, how do you see uh, this opportunity for you guys coming up on Sunday, a chance to get your first divisional win and you know, get to two and three and get right back in the mix in the conference? Um, obviously, it's great coach defense, great coach team. So, you know, we got to go out and, and play a good game. Uh, you know, these guys have been in a lot of games. Uh, even the ones they lost, they've been in it. And, uh, you know, they beat some good teams. So, uh, you know, we, we got to come out prepared. It's a division game, like you said. Uh, obviously, going two and three would, would be big. And so, uh, you know, right now it's just focusing on tomorrow's practice and uh, trying to execute.